Those are your top 10 KHL goals of the week. My name's Steve Dangle. And I'm Andreas Hachenko. Number 10, Peter Podgratsky of Donbass. Now, he had a nice little move at the end, scored the goal, but really this whole play is ridiculous. Look at all the passes. Number 9 goes to Red Army's defenseman Mikko Mainpe. Now Alex Rodula probably gets all of the credit for this goal, but look at Mikko Mainpe. He did a very good job at picking the empty corner and putting the puck in. A fancy shootout move for number eight, Peter Forsberg. I, I was Fyodor Malikin. Sorry. Number seven goes to Dynamo Riga with a tic tac toe play with Jamie Johnson putting the puck in, and it's an all two win as well. Number six from Dynamo Minsk, Zbinik Irgul. Now, impressive finish, but he even starts the play as well. Иргл беспрепятственно сближается с Эриком Эрсбергом. Ну а как Иргл умеет разбираться в таких случаях, мы все прекрасно знаем. Если для кого-то это было это сюрпризом, то ознакомьтесь, пожалуйста, и изучите. Еще раз. Number five is Сергей Костицын with a bouncy goal. Now, if it was just a tad higher, that would have been disallowed, but I'm sure Sergey knows about that. Илья Горохов, номер 77, Динамо, Москва. Number five, Dynamo Moscow. Yuri Babenko finishes off the amazing effort by Ilya Gorokhov. Number three is Alexander Giroux of Dynamo Riga. Storms through the neutral zone, has an option to pass, but goes, no, I think I'll shoot it. And he's good. Number two, uh, here's a name we're probably going to see quite a bit, Evgeny Malkin. You ever look at a player and just go, that's not fair? Well, that's not fair. Number one is another Evgeny, Evgeny Kuznetsov of Traktor Chelyabinsk, digging through the entire Atlant scene with a perfect shot and a goal for Traktor. Uh, he kind of says, hey Malkin, come at me. Жаль, 
Кузнецов номер 92-го. 